We had a little <laughs> rainfall last night, so the rainforest is a little wet and also very slippery. Number one things, please do not pick up anything from the forest floor. The hike is about three hours long. We're going to be going a mile and a quarter in, a mile and a quarter like that. There are three activities here. There's the skyline, which doesn't take any effort. There's the zip line, which is going to take a lot of adrenaline. And there's the hike, which is going to wear you out. The guides are very knowledgeable and you can ask them anything. Yes, it is a fruit. This is just a small version of it right now. It gets very, it gets like four or five times the size of this. Drink like a smoothie. Yes. So that's our fruit, Carambola five cream. Ficus ends up with a hollow center. Slowly, it starts to close up and then looks like a normal huge tree growing there. These trees and their roots wrap around anything. Remember the day of the Triffids? The water in the ravine is being collected and it goes to community in Barbano. So this is where Barbano they get their water from. They treat the water and then that water is being distributed in our parks in our home. Adrenaline Zipline 6 starts here and goes right down there. But by the time you've reached this point, you may wish that you've taken the zip line instead of the hike. There are several varieties of snakes in the forest, which is why I've been looking down a lot of the time, because there's a boa constrictor and a poisonous one. So it makes me a bit nervous. Behind every tree being strangled is a zip line waiting to thrill you. But we're here in the forest looking up at these huge trees and the very straight ones were originally used for carving out canoes. Needless to say it's very hot so while some of us splashed ourselves with water to cool down, others looked for crabs in the rocks. None of the mushrooms are edible. You can't drink the water, only the locals can. If you hear a bleeping sound, it's not a mobile phone, it's a tree frog. Maho. It was brought to St. Lucia for reforestation. When they brought them here, they discovered the stems of the trees that can be used for the light or lamp post and also any journal There are 18 sky lifts on a loop. So when one stops at the bottom, the others all stop giving the guide a chance to explain the flora and fauna. Um, they're gondola, gondola area tram. It's a tour right, as okay. well. So they get to pass through all five layers apart from the ravine. They, after that, they get to do a tree walk. So that tour is about an hour. You go a mile and a quarter in, mile and a quarter like that. But if any <laughs> emergencies on the trail, walk the Jaco trail, we have no other choice to put her on the area tram to go down. Yeah, massive. Yeah, when you keep going, just reach out the top and I'll come between you guys. There's a termite mound there, very high in protein. Okay, so there's a vine on the stem of the tree here. Okay, we've been seeing a lot of that when we started the talk. That's the first stage of a vine that we have here. The second stage, the leaves, you can see that the leaves of it are getting bigger and they're like shooting out. The third is when all the seeds are going to fall off and the vine itself, as you can see, it has scraped off the tree. The unique thing about it, water can be found in there. In every three feet of the vine, you can get one liter of drinking water. But the vine has to be the size of your wrist, no bigger, no smaller. <laughs> However tired you get, don't be tempted to lean on a tree and shake it because some of them have ants in and they'll fall down and get inside your skin. But you can get them out with alcohol, so. Shoelace fern. That's the frog with the... Yeah, some of 
There's a cocoa pod. We're going to learn all about chocolate in Grenada. See our film on St George's. So this is just Chateauneuf, wild chestnut. Massive root. Don't find that bird. This is the top station for the air gondolas. We've actually climbed up one and a half miles. Oh wow. Yes. It's a lovely view. Here is better. Sun here, here is better. Hopefully the way down will be easier. Remember guys, you stay away from the yellow line. They also do a zip line at night called a luna, and apparently on every platform you see a tarantula. They get to reach about 60 to 80 feet. But the tallest, that the height that they have to reach is about 120. So you see the fur on the tree, the hummingbirds use this to make their nests. And they're sort of like an espresso cup when they're finished. You've been digging a lot. Mm -hmm. Is it? Oh, Where is he? He looks like he's peeping out at The top of the trees is the emergent layer and it's the last layer of the rainforest. That's the tarantula's nest. But we don't think he's there. Frankincense. And this is the frankincense tree. At the bottom we walked through a small spice garden where the spices smell really fresh and we saw some hummingbirds. There are three things you can do here. There's the hike, there's two zip line experiences, one with eight lines and one with nine lines, or there's an airway so you can see the rainforest. There are great facilities, ample toilets, there's a cafe and a shop. All in all, it's a brilliant experience. <laughs>